This moves rather quickly, so try to keep up. If you want to study it carefully, some of the schematics and photos are on my Flickr site. The address is here, it's also at the end of the video. I'm in a band that plays music for kids, and in our band, there's a squirrel. She plays the bicycle bell. For most of our gigs, she plays a fairly standard bicycle bell we bought at the Mountain Equipment Co-op, but she's also got an antique one that her grandmother Lizzie used to perform with in vaudeville. She asked me to install a pickup so she could plug it into a soundboard or use it through the amplifiers at our live gigs. I thought that was a great idea. It's a challenge. Let's give it a try. It was clear an electric guitar pickup wasn't going to work. So I thought, what's the smallest microphone and the most affordable way to get one? These microphones are almost dead naturally. They have an amplifier built in and they need power to work. So, the way I do these projects is I draw out a bunch of diagrams that won't work and move towards one that will. This was tested on a breadboard, of course. Then I built it. And of course, a color-coordinated project box is an important touch. With the power box and output decoupler built, this works fine with all of the commercial condenser mics I tried. I decided to make the wiring industry standard so that it would work with any intact computer-style microphone as well. With the power supply and signal attenuation figured out, I fabricated this element attached to a jack, drilled a hole, and installed the element inside the bell. I wasn't happy with the sound quality though, it includes too much mechanical noise from the workings inside the bell. Putting a microphone on the outside gives excellent sound quality. The only disadvantage is this install is not physically protected. One more successful project. This bell is now ready for the recording studio and for all the live performances we have scheduled.